are you having a hard time winning any games with Shenji? Even if he's a really powerful hero, you are not alone. Shenji is one of the strongest heroes in the game at the moment, but many players fail to use this hero properly and instead end up destroying their own team. This video is a full hero guide for this hero. We will begin by quickly going through his abilities, then we will look at some important tips to keep in mind while using this hero. And finally, I will suggest some possible gear sets for this hero, including some sets without any personal gear. And without wasting any time, let's get right into the video. Shenji's first ability is called the Fire Hunter. The hero throws forward a device. When this device touches a hero or shield, an ignition zone is created which does damage to any heroes that walk on it, including players on your own team. This Fire Hunter will also destroy grass and expose any heroes hiding in there. The second ability is called Team Recovery. Once activated, the hero loses the ability to shoot for some seconds. During this time, he restores both health and armor to nearby allies. If the healing is stopped or interrupted, an extra 200 health and armor is automatically gained by Shenji and his close allies. The third ability is called Ignition. With this ability, Shenji has increased magazine size and health. The ignition lines from when he fires his gun are also improved. And Shenji's final ability is called Burning Fury. When Shenji takes damage from an enemy, all nearby allies get a 60% reduction to their reloading time, and this lasts up to 5 seconds. On killing an enemy, the fire rate of all nearby allies is increased by 25% for 5 seconds. In addition, all nearby enemies lose 600 armor. All these passive abilities only affect close allies within a range of 400. Putting the abilities aside, let's look at some important tips that you need to apply while using this hero. The first and most important tip here is common sense. You really need to be level-headed when using this hero. Do not just throw your ability even when you are standing next to your teammates. Just think before you act or else you will always destroy your own team and then get killed by the enemy. In the second tip, we talk about how to use your main ability. The most common bad habit with Shenji players is that they always want to throw the ability even when shooting the enemy is the much easier option. There will be so many situations whereby you can easily destroy enemies with your weapon. Try as much as possible to rely on your gun more than your main ability. Otherwise, you will find a really hard time surviving with this hero. Keep in mind that your ability is easy to avoid by any decent player, so don't only rely on it. Some ways that you can use this ability include preventing enemies from defusing the bomb during sabotage mode. Preventing enemies from being revived in battle royale and squads. You may also use this ability to burn enemies hiding inside a room with only one exit. Just throw the device inside and wait for them to stay inside and burn or run out towards you and get destroyed either way. Our third tip is all about movement. Shenji has a lot of health and he does a lot of damage, so having good movement patterns will help you to survive for a really long time and destroy many enemies before you get killed. Good movement techniques include moving side to side while shooting an enemy or simply going around them as you shoot, just to make it harder for the enemy to do a lot of damage to you. I made a full video explaining movement in Bullet Echo and I will link it in the top right corner or at the end of the video. For the fourth tip, use the element of surprise to dismantle full enemy teams. When your teammates are fighting an enemy team, try to flank the enemies by moving around and getting them from behind while they are distracted by your teammates. This is one of the most effective ways to destroy full teams easily. You will also benefit a lot from taking cover by picking around corners or obstacles. This tip applies to all heroes in the game and it allows you to do damage to enemies without taking so much damage. Sometimes the enemy cannot even see you if you pick the right way. And finally, just play as many games as possible to get better faster. Even if you don't watch any video giving tips and tricks, playing a lot of games with any hero will help you improve quickly. 
In the next section of the video, we will look at four possible gear sets that can be used on this hero. The first set here is a set without any personal gear. This set focuses on more health. In this build we have the index eye for more vision, the infantry vest for more health, we have the regular shoulder pad for more damage against enemy armor, we have the index leg for more speed and a higher fire rate, we have the thug knuckle for more damage to enemy health, and we have the scan flashlight for more health. The second gear set here also has no personal equipment at all. In this build we have the index eye for more vision, the index heart for more damage against enemy armor, we have the regular shoulder pad for more damage against enemy armor, we have the runner's boots for more speed, we have the index collar for more damage to enemy health, and we have the echo radar for more vision. Our third build in this video will give Shenji the highest possible maximum health. And in this build we have the index eye for more vision, we have the infantry vest for more health, we have the scorched bracelets for more armor penetration, we have the scorched sandals for more health, we have the index collar for more damage to enemy health, and we have the scan flashlight for more health. And our final set here is a damage set. This set increases Shenji's damage, his armor penetration, and his fire rate as well. In this build we have the index eye for more vision, we have the scorched belt for more damage, we have the regular shoulder pad for more damage against enemy armor, we have the index leg for more speed and a higher fire rate, we have the scorched charm for a higher fire rate, and we have the scorched drone for more weapon firing range. This build allows you to destroy enemies more easily and I deliberately did not use more personal gears here because I don't like playing with a bigger ignition zone that comes from the fire hunter ability. It is more dangerous to use and it affects your teammates movements a lot.